Hello. Now, if I'm going to solve this, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing I want to do is absolutely, totally forget about my double, quadruple, angle, half angle, whatever else we have in here. This is not a part of our solving. Okay, We're going to apply this after we've solved for it. So Maggie, up until this point, what I want you guys to do, if you see a double angle, half angle, triple angle, whatever, don't worry about it till the end. So we're going to solve this just as it is like as x, okay? or just secant of x. So anyways, to solve this, we need to determine when is secant equal to 2. I don't really like solving for secant because I'm not used to it. I like solving for sine, cosine, and tangent. So by applying my reciprocal property, I can rewrite this as cosine of 4x equals 1 half. Right? Reciprocals of each other, much easier. You're like, oh, cosine 1 half. OK, I got it. So we go to our unit circle and we say, when is cosine of, um, cosine of x or cosine of our angle equal to 1 half? Hopefully you guys know that it's at the angle pi over 3, which is this point is 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Right? But that is not the only time that our cosine is equal to 1 half. It's also equal down here. So now we need to determine, well, where, what is this other point? Well, if this is pi over 3, 2 pi over 3 is right here, 3 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, 6 pi over 3. So this angle is 5 pi over 3. So um, again, I'm asking, this is again one of those things where it can say, tell, determine all the solutions between 0 and 2 pi, and then determine all the solutions between, uh, determine all the solutions between 0 and 2 pi, and determine all the real solutions. So anyways, by solving this, I can now say that 4x, and we're going to find all the solutions for this problem. It says 4x equals pi over 3, and 4x equals 5 pi over 3. Now notice, these two angles, to get to you know, my, if I wanted to find all the real solutions, I have to keep on adding them, right? So I'd have to add 2 pi n plus 2 pi n. All right. So as of right now, we have not done anything differently. Anything different. Nothing. Nothing different. But now, Zoe, what I need to do is now I just need to solve for x. So you do these types of problems the exact same way, except now at your end, now at the end, you can divide by your angle or multiply by your angle, whatever is in your angle to do. So now my final solution is x equals pi over 3 divided by 4 is pi over 12 plus 1 half pi n. Over here, I have x equals um, 5 pi over 12 plus 1 half pi n. And that is going to be my final solution for all real solutions. All right. Cool. And that's it. Yay. Yay. You guys are not seeing.